Supreme Rice was opened in 1936 by Joseph Dore, and he owned and operated the company for numerous years before his sons took over. Bill Dore was uh, the last owner and operator of Supreme Rice, uh, where it was eventually bought out in 2007 by uh, the current owner. Supreme Rice was an export company, and they handled bulk rice. And in 2013, we decided to get into the retail space, and we started investing in uh, the technology to pack that rice. And that was really the change for us. We decided at that point to really start branding Supreme on a national level and compete in the retail markets. There were obviously a lot of challenges that we hadn't faced previously in selling rice in bulk, you know, in 50 pound bags and 100 pound bags. It's very different to do that on a smaller scale in one pound bags up to 20 pound bags. And, you know, the human is very limited in how fast they can stack a pallet. And, you know, at that time, we realized that if we did not develop some sort of automation that we would just not be able to keep up with the demand. So at that point, you know, the owner and the director of operations at that time chose to go out and look in, you know, in the market with other rice mills and to see what they were doing. So we, we traveled to uh, a couple of California uh, rice mills and they had Columbia Acora robots and they gave very good reviews of Columbia Acora. Until we went to the California mills and went to Columbia Cora, we didn't know how this was gonna work. We were thinking robot over the truck, but once we seen their, their floor and what they were doing in, in um, California, it became clear how we would get this done. You know, obviously we were different 15, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, but you know, when you have someone locked into a physical uh, job, they're just going to do their job every day. They're lugging rice. So we have been challenged as a company as we've grown and become more automated to put more into our employees because we have to. You know, they're not just they're not just stacking up rice on a pallet all day long. You know, they're having to run, you know, complex machines. They're having to troubleshoot them. Like with any manufacturing company, as you grow, you know, there's always challenges. And, and you have to make sure that your employees are ready for those challenges. So we put a lot of folks into training, put a lot of folks into safety. You know, this helps us to be more efficient. We want to enrich our employees' lives, you know, um, make it less physically demanding for them. And, uh, you know, those are our goals. When we were putting this on paper, when we, when we were designing the warehouse and talking about saving, cutting jobs to a certain extent, what we found out with the increase of production we actually increased people. But it was more of people driving forklifts because we had so much production coming out, we had, we had to have people to, to move this product around. And, and it worked out, you know, it, we thought we'd have to cut so many jobs to pay for this, but it was just the opposite. We, and we have guys basically watching in quality control more than physical labor. It changed the way we did business completely. We couldn't do this if uh, we did it the whole way.